everyone Josie here life at 50 and beyond thanks for joining me here on my channel today I'm gonna to be setting up my three tier tray that I made using dollar store items as well as setting up our buffet area I'll be using four of my DIYs from last week and then I'm going to be also incorporating two new ones today I am going to be creating the garland that I will be placing on the top shelf of the buffet table as well as a small cypress tree that I am going to be incorporating in the whole spread. You can incorporate this style either on your fireplace mantle as well as any console table. So let's go ahead and make this garland using Dollar Tree items. I'm using these wired garland ties that I got at Dollar Tree. They come 12 in a pack for dollar and I'm just twisting them together so I'm just tying two pieces together and then putting in the garland tie at the center of each straight garland tie to create the branches depending on the length that you want to make you probably need at least a couple of packs of these garland ties I will be using two yards of this burlap fabric and I am just going to be loosely kind of wind it through the branches of my garland ties. I went ahead and removed my full home decor and this was the last piece from that decoration. So this is sort of a blank slate. I left the black shelf on top and then as you could see on the lower left is my tear trays that I created about a couple of months ago and I am going to be linking up here in the upper right hand corner the video when I created that using dollar store items. So this is one of my DIYs, like I said, I'll be linking it here as well. And this was made using a basket from the Easter decor from Walmart and I got it for like $6. And then I used a mini tree from Dollar Tree and I inverted that and made it into a kind of a tobacco basket swag and then on the shelf I am going to be placing my newly made burlap garland I'm just gonna be adding a little bit more garland ties on the right side just to balance it off Next, I'm going to be decorating my tear trays. First off, I'm going to be adding this wooden house form that I DIY'd into a winter decor, and I'm just going to be hot gluing the ends onto the edges of the top of my ceramic bowl. And this way, I am adding height to my tear trays. So just a tip for you if you want to add interest or add things to your ceramic it's okay to hot glue them and the good thing about hot glue it's not permanent but it will keep it in place and it's easily removable once you're ready to store things away. Next, I am going to be displaying or decorating the bottom side of my tray using this birdcage that I created. Since the dinner plate is not flat, it has a sort of an angle or dip. I am trying to see where I'm going to be able to put it without 
it tilting. So I'm trying to put in some greenery underneath so that it will lift that side. Doing so will keep the birdcage from tilting and it will keep it leveled. Next I'm just going to be adding some fillers around the perimeter of the plate. I don't want to overcrowd things. I'm just going to be adding some faux greenery as well as these rattan bowls that I got at Dollar Tree and this LED pillar candle that I also got at Dollar Tree. So right now I'm just doing a trial and error. So the trick here is that you just want to make sure that all three tiers are cohesive. So I'm just going to be creating this sort of an adornment adding a little bit more of interest onto my pillar candle so it doesn't look too plain so I just made one of the garland ties into sort of a small round wreath and that I placed at the bottom of this pillar candle actually I think that it's too plain for just one so I just decided to create another one kind of do a double layer on it I connected two garland ties together and I've decided to place it on top of my bowl just so I can adorn it. And then I've added some clumps of berries. I've done the same thing to the middle tier and adding a little bit more of the faux greenery that I have on stash just to layer and add a bit more of texture. Here I'm just filling up the void making sure there's no big gaps or empty spaces in between the items that I placed by adding some more of my faux greenery, some rattan balls, and some red berries. I'll be doing it on the bottom and the middle tier as well as the top and I added also votive candles on the second and top tiers. So here I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree Snowman Cup and I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree Mini Tree and as you can see here I'm just making it a little compact rather than spreading the branches because I want the look of a cypress tree rather than a pine tree or a Christmas tree. So I am just going to be adding a little bit of this garland ties at the bottom to cover the exposed hardware because the cup is small and the exposed hardware is showing so I'm just covering it or camouflaging it with additional garland ties and making them like branches as well. So I'm just going to be hot gluing the bottom of this mini tree at the bottom or middle part of the inner part of the cup so that it will stay in place. Originally, I had intended to create a snowman theme along with my cardinal theme, just making it more like a black, red, white with the greenery theme to make it look festive, but towards the end you will see that the final look will be different. I will be turning around this cup so that the back of the snowman is showing that it doesn't really look like a snowman anymore and then I'll be removing the styrofoam snowman in the middle part of my tear tray. If you notice I also added some more branches there to fill in the spaces and then I'm putting these berries here at the center for a pop of red. 
And then I'm going to be adding this wooden tag sign that spells joy at the top of my cypress tree. And this tag is just part of my stash. I purchased this at Walmart. It's an ornament and they come in a set of five for $1.98. Next, I'm going to be hanging this red truck with full ship lap. And then I'm going to be camouflaging the hanging hardware because it's sticking out like a sore thumb. So I'm going to be placing a leaf, you know, the leaf that came with the holly berries, as well as some berries at the center of the leaf. I have this rectangular white ceramic tray and I've added these three houses that I got at Target Dollar Spot last year and I just arranged them with some of the garland ties as well as some rattan balls from Dollar Tree. I'm just showing you the tear tray now. That's the final version. I put a small votive candle on the second tier as well as inside the bowl of the top tier just so that there will be some glow and light that will kind of mimic the one on the bottom tray. And I added some berries for the pop of red and some rattan balls for more texture and also some greenery. I really love how this cheer tray looks like and it's simple it's not too crowded and it's cohesive so there's that votive candle the small one that I put inside the bowl and there's another one here in the middle tier comes in a pair or a pack of two from the Dollar Tree so it illuminates all tiers with candles and I love this they don't sell this anymore they have a different version at Target Dollar Spot this year and I'm so happy that I found this three last year and everything blends well with the red and the black and white buffalo check ribbons and here is also on this side I put my home sign that I got from two years ago at Target Dollar Spot and that's the 99 cents only store lantern I got it for $2.99 and I added that again that wired garland ties and some berries and then I turned around like I said earlier the cup that has the snowman I turned it around so that the colors would blend and I carry the theme on top with this sort of like a tobacco basket swag that I created with also the pop of red as well as the black and white buffalo check so everything blends well and I'm keeping the garland plain on top of the shelf. I love how simple it is. I'm really liking the reds that are popping up everywhere here. So keeping the burlap plain with just the greenery keeps it grounded and you can focus more on the texture. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share to anyone who may be interested in this theme for winter. This is a winter decoration that will be up all winter time and then I will be removing them come springtime when I'm ready to decorate for spring. And I hope you all are having a great day. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. Please leave me some comments down below. I'll talk to you again on my next video. Take care, everyone. God bless. Bye-bye.